YouTube. So today is episode two of the post program series, the final episode of this entire 30 day kickstart video trainer program. It is crazy to me that I'm actually recording the final video right now, but um, yeah, so let's get right into it. It's going to be about what's next for you, deloading explain. Last video I was talking about the implications of reverse dieting and how it's going to be beneficial to you after a fat loss phase. And now deloading, this applies to all phases. This applies to fat loss, it applies to maintenance, and it applies to growth phases. And it may actually be more important for people who are in a gaining, lean, bulking phase because they're actually able to train a little bit harder with the higher food intake. So it does apply to absolutely everyone. And so this is necessary. It may not be necessary for you right now, depends on kind of what your level is. If you're a beginner and you went super hard for these four weeks, you might definitely be in need of a deload right now if your body feels like it's been hit by a train. If you're intermediate to advanced, kind of just gauge it on how you feel. If you feel fine, you still have so much energy for the gym, you still are so excited to lift every single day, then maybe it's not time for you to take a deload yet. But if you're advanced and you've been training for years and you went really hard for these 30 days and you've been training for a while before that, this might be the right time to go on a deload. So first thing that I'm gonna say is the symptoms of needing a deload. Before I get into what it is, uh, you may need a deload if one, your body feels like it's been hit by a train every single day. Two, you are starting to have trouble sleeping or your sleeping patterns are going whack. Three, your appetite, your hormones, your mood are all kind of getting a little weird, especially energy levels. Pay attention to your energy levels. That's gonna be the number one indicator that you may be in need of a deload. And the last one is gonna be pretty obvious. If your training sessions absolutely suck, you just cannot get through them without like too much pre-workout and they just are horrible. This goes along with energy. Your strength is down. That is a huge sign that you may be overtrained. So if you feel these symptoms starting to come on, it might be a good idea to just jump into a deload so you prevent the onset of like overtraining symptoms and like risking injury. Just be mindful of all those things and always keep that in the back of your mind when you are training hard for long periods of time. Now, what a deload is, is essentially half-assing the gym for a week. So why we need deloads is because our body needs to recover. And sometimes just having a couple rest days per week is not enough for our body. Sometimes we need a total reset for the central nervous system to recover. So your central nervous system is like your spine, your brain, everything, like all your nerves, not only your muscles, but your nerves take a beating when you're training them with heavy loads over a long period of time. So uh, deload is actually very essential for your central nervous system recovery. This video is actually probably gonna be pretty quick. There's just a couple of ways to go about deloading and it's really up to you and like what kind of person you are to uh, decide what you should do. But the first option is to just take a week completely off the gym. Do not set foot in the gym. Do not walk in, do not do cardio there, nothing. Like you can stay active outside the gym, you can go on hikes, bike rides, walk the dog, go outside and play ball with your siblings. Like just don't go in the gym. And this is this might be for like beginners who are not used to being in the gym so often and they just need that mental break as well as physical or someone who maybe has been training for years and years and they need that time like truly away to kind of reset their mindset and feel refreshed internally and externally. So it just depends on the type of person that you are. If you feel like really burnt out and you need that time away from the gym, you're sick of it and you wanna miss it again, a week off might be a great option for you. I do suggest regular stretching, foam rolling, and just staying somewhat active during the week so that you're getting the blood flowing throughout your muscles for the entire week and stimulating recovery. I'd suggest getting a massage. I would suggest getting ART done, uh, cupping, if you guys have seen my back in that last progress video. Yeah, so that's the first option. Then the second option is going to be going to the gym 
maybe just a couple times that week instead of like five, six days a week like you were. Maybe two to three, three to four, and you just do like either light cardio, you lift weights very lightly, or you do some body weight circuits or something like that another great way to deload because that way you're still kind of getting more of a caloric burn out for the entire week but you're not exerting stress on your central nervous system and so if you guys remember the RPE scale that I gave you guys a scale of 1 to 10 how difficult should your exercises be remember we were trying to be in like the 9s 10s for everything for the 30-day kickstart your RPE should not go above like a five and a half on this deload week if you're doing a deload at the gym, your RPE should stay very, very, very low. And like I said, it should feel like you're half-assing it and it's frustrating, but that's how it should feel. This third option is actually a very good option for people who maybe don't even feel like they really, really need a deload and they still feel good, but they just want to play it safe and kind of give themselves a break to refresh everything anyways after the kickstart is going into the gym doing your normal weights, but cutting your total volume by 50%. Meaning, let's say you had three sets of 15, you would do like one and a half sets, or maybe like one set of one exercise and then two sets of another exercise, instead of the full three sets. Or you would cut your reps in half. So if you're using the same weight, you would, instead of doing three sets of 15 with this weight, that makes it like a 9, 10 RPE, you do three sets of like seven to eight with that same weight and your RPE is probably gonna be like a six or seven. So it's all about just cutting down the amount of stress you're putting on your body. And this allows you to kind of just keep that training stimulus going. So people who don't feel like they've been beat into the dirt, this is a good option for you. If you still feel somewhat fresh and you just want to play it safe and give yourself that time to recover, just have much, much shorter workouts for a week. and. You can still use the same loads, you can still use heavy weight, but just make sure you're cutting your volume down. So if you have four sets of something, do two instead. If you have three sets of something, do one to one and a half. Or you can cut the weight in half. You could do that as well. You could do three sets of 15, but instead of using the weight that gives you a 10 RPE, cut the weight in half so it's like a five RPE for three sets of 15. So those are both viable options and you would do that for the entire week. These, uh, these three options are all in the context that you do them for a full week to let your body completely recover, rejuvenate, refresh itself mentally and physically so that you can go into your next training cycle, whether it be another 30 days, whether it be another eight weeks, 12, 16. You do need to implement deloads regularly to maintain longevity in your training, to avoid severe injuries and allow proper recovery in your entire body. So I guess I would suggest to have some sort of scheduled deload every 8 to 16 weeks. I know that's a really big block, but every 2 to 4 months depends on the person, how fast you feel burnt out, kind of just play it by ear, but always keep in the back of your mind that you shouldn't be training for like 6 months to a year on end without like an extended period of time like off, whether that be like 4 days to a week or 2 weeks. Take some time off every now and then is essentially what I'm saying. <laughs> so yeah, I personally am going to be just having shorter workouts. Monday, August 14th, I'm leaving for vacation down at the beach. There is a really sick gym there that I am so excited to try out. It's called VB Iron Gym. If anyone's in Virginia Beach and has ever heard of it or wants to visit a really old school type of gym in Virginia Beach, I'm definitely gonna be vlogging a little bit there, maybe some of my workouts, but there are gonna be lighter and less intense workouts. So I get that deload stimulus. I'm stimulating recovery of my muscles, preventing injury, but also still getting a decent workout in even though I feel like I'm half-assing it, getting a decent workout in at that gym down there. So that's all I'm gonna say about deloading. Definitely a shorter video than the last one. I hope this helped you guys. I hope you learned something, a lot of things from the 30 day kickstart and this is the last video. So just thank you so much for watching this entire series. Not gonna be doing daily uploads for a while now that I've done them for over a month but I am going to be sticking with getting YouTube content out for you guys regularly, so make sure you stay subscribed and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so that you don't miss out on more informational content. I do have a lot of really cool stuff coming. And make sure that you share the program with a friend. That's all I ask for this program being completely free. The links are all down below to download the program, 
to check out my website, uh, Instagram, my email for questions, and also my t-shirts. There are a couple left in each size, so snatch those up while you can. All the links are down below if you want to support me and order a t-shirt and rep Marissa Roy Fitness for the 30 day kickstart, I would really appreciate that. Also the Facebook group that I've created for the 30 day kickstart is also linked down below so you can click on that request to join the Facebook group for support and community. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for doing the program and I hope you guys have an amazing time after the program and really embark on a new journey for new goals in the future. This journey is never ending. As humans, we are never satisfied. We always want more and there's nothing wrong with that. We should always be going for more, pushing ourselves to our limits. So I wish you guys all the best in, the, in your future journeys. Uh, keep an eye out for another 30 day kickstart probably within the next year. Keep sharing this program around in the meantime and just thank you guys so much so much. This has been such a pleasure. So much fun. Um, yeah. I wish you guys all the best. Make sure to hit subscribe and thumbs up the video and I'll talk to you guys later.